Oh shit! Look at this shit. Red Phillip. Yeah. All this right. Shit in fucking Halifax. Uh, everybody, they're trying welcome. To, welcome. They trying to stop Chris Brown from doing a show there because of the fucking Rihanna shit. Fuck all these politicians and their fucking horse shit. Look, that shit Hold happened on. years Hold ago. On. Hold on. I want to welcome everybody to the Red Phillips show. <laughs> nah, I don't want to fucking welcome. I want to talk about this do. shit. Fuck them. Give it a minute. <laughs> this is bullshit. It's been forever. We're out of rhythm. Um, we've been on a little hiatus, everybody. We apologize. Or not. I don't give a shit. Um, you know, but we're yeah, back. These people got lives. They got shit to do. Who cares? We're, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're back. We're doing our thing. It's me and Thor in the building today, you know, doing our thing. Uh, Ragic ain't here. Mo ain't here. But we're, we're doing a thing. We're going to get it done. Um, so, yeah, welcome. And, uh, you know, hopefully we do a good show for you today. Anyway, what are you talking about, man? What are you talking about Halifax and Chris Brown? Halifax is trying to shit? say Chris Brown can't perform there. The politicians, because he beat Rihanna up in 2009. Uh, number one, uh, who, who cares? Who fuck? Yeah, who cares? Uh, that happened in 2009. Uh, number two, says when do politicians have a say who performs Anyway, yeah, that's the arena. That's the people that own the stadium or the concert hall. That's their that's shit. Right. That's right. And guess what? Guess what? You fucking idiot politicians. See, that's why I love politicians because they're the dumbest fucking people on the planet. But we all vote for them. We all think they make a difference. Instead of worrying about shit like all the fact that uh, tuition costs a million dollars and you know we got no fucking water and oil is fucking going away, we're gonna worry about Chris. He's a singer. What about Chris Brown and shit. Fuck him. If you don't like his music, then don't go. But guess what? The people that like his shit are going to go, and it, it doesn't matter. This is such a non-fucking yeah. issue. It, it's amazing that we pay politicians to worry about this shit. The fact I, didn't know, I didn't know voting, when you go to vote, it said, hey, we're going to... You know, we're gonna worry about what singers come to your town based on the shit they did years ago. Who yeah. gives a fuck? Yeah. The fact that they're trying to make it an issue is the issue, and it's not the fact that he beat up somebody. I mean, it's it's a non-issue. They're trying to make a non-issue an issue, and that's the fucking issue here. You know, it is bullshit. Why the fuck are they trying to do that? You know what I mean? Because they're fucking losers, and they got nothing like, to do with their lives. They're just disgusting. There's so much. People. They should be so busy with, like, fixing everything else that's wrong with this fucking country that they shouldn't even be able to sleep, you know? No. Like, but instead they have enough time to worry about this kind of shit. Like, how is that possible, right? You, you know what I was saying about the other day? You know what I was saying about the other day? One of yeah. my favorite things in the world is, is just, you know, the whole bullying thing? I think it's the funniest thing in the entire planet. The whole what? <clears throat> bullying. Bullying. Oh, and bull how bullying, bullying is the worst thing. Yeah. And I, you bullying. know what? It's coming up... I believe October is the World Stop Bullying Month, and I always do my thing. I'm doing it for the second year now, and I think the Red Phillips Show should actually go out on the street and do it. Um, it's going to be uh, your – I'm going to call it Your Emotional Pain is Hilarious Month uh, <laughs> because – and then I'm going to try and raise money for uh, diarrhea because, like, I think I, – I, like, I, I, I raised the point. I think it's uh, something like 4 million kids every year, just children. The people that this is supposed to be about to because kids have no self. Four million kids around the world every year die from diarrhea. They shit themselves to death. They dehydrate and they fucking yeah. die. Nobody bats an eye because they're African <laughs> kids or they're kids in like Guatemala or uh, I don't know some shitty place in like a Chinese desert. And nobody cares. But you know, uh, white kids slit their wrists because they're being made fun. Because like. If you look at all the people that are killing themselves over yeah, they're, they're white kids. It's no... every single one has been a white well, kid. Well, there's some Asians. Yeah, but those are the ones depressed. that apparently shoot but... up school universities and shit. Like uh, a little bit. I mean, my, I this mean, is just it's I think it's, there, I it's think a non-issue. I think it's even when it comes to um, <laughs> a Asians and white shooting up a place is it's even, but. Um, I don't think there's as many Asians <laughs> killing themselves as no. there is white kids. No, there's no. And no, I mean, it, it, let's let's even like put that aside because who really gives a fuck? All right, bullying. I mean, even back when we were young, which is not which that we far were, let's off. Be, let's let's qualify that as saying we were pretty much the last generation where right. there was some bullying even tolerated. Exactly because 
it, it toughened us up. It toughened us up a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to say we're the toughest of the fucking generations, you know what I mean? But when our parents were bullied when they were young, toughened them up. Toughened well, us up a little like bit. They shit like wars to deal with and fucking yeah. someone dropping a nuke on their head. But now exactly. we're bored and we got YouTube and MySpace. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, it used to be, oh, <laughs> well, you know, Tommy took my lunch money today, but at least they're not dropping a nuke on us. So yeah. I'm going to get over it. You know what I mean? And now we're bored, so it's like we have to find every little fucking thing and just turn it into a huge issue. Dynasty huge shit. Thing. we got to make it into a dynasty. It's that's right. That's is... right. The dynasty shit. Yeah, because you know what's going to happen? You know what, what's going to happen is all this bullying shit that happened in your life will, will you know, reminisce and go into the next generation. It'll come back, and those kids will think about it. And No, it doesn't. You know how, you know how it would reminisce in people's children? A person would get bullied and then grow up to be an adult and then be like, listen, it's part of life. Get used to it. Fuck them. Get and through it. Listen. You it's going to toughen up the next generation. So it, it's it, bullying's a good thing. I mean, it, that's the way I see it's, it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, whatever. It's so it's ridiculous. Like. Yeah. I said, it's really nothing. Four million nothing. kids. But because they're not white, uh, no one gives a shit. That's what. Yeah. That's really what it comes down to. And it's just. It, it, this is like. This is really white kids. Uh, and I gotta qualify this as saying, you know, it's not all white kids. It's but it's the institution of white kids. It's not the individual. It's the institution. It's yeah. the institution of white kids that have nothing to fucking do with their lives. It, it really comes down to that. That's and right. There's four million kids in Africa, all well, around the world, but they're mostly in places like Africa, probably maybe like rural Brazil. Uh, you know. You know what I can say it is? Mid, maybe shitty parts of the Middle East, like real shitty parts. You yeah. know what I mean? But you know what, you know what this is, though? I know what. Um, it, it, it all comes back to just shitty fucking parenting. It, I mean, it's it's just that simple. Because these kids go to school, they get bullied, all right? But think about when our parents got bullied or whatever. I mean, it didn't really happen as much to us because there wasn't that much bullying, but there was. They didn't call was. it bullying. They called it going to school. Right. But what I'm saying is back when our parents were kids, whatever, right, they got bullied and they didn't just go run to their room when they got home and sat there watching TV all depressed alone and shit. You know what I mean? If something happened that was really, like, that bad that depressed them or whatever, they it, it was going to come out to their family, like, that night, and then they'd all handle it, like, as a family. You know what I mean? And it would be over right there and then. But nowadays, parents are shit. Parents just let their fucking kids... Go and just hang in the room alone, and when they get bullied, they just fucking kill themselves or whatever. You know what I mean? Like a parent should just be able to know. All right, this kid's this kid's pretty fucking depressed right now. Uh, let's try to handle that shit. You know what I mean? Parents are just shitty. I think it, that's just it, it's that simple. You know what I mean? Bullying should stay there, but it should be handled properly by the parents of the kids that got bullied, and well, and then the kids' uh, parents. You know, the, the, the bullier's parents, you know what I mean? And here's the thing, though. This has all led to the rise of hipsterdom and alternative culture and killing masculinity. And... Well, it's the ultra-coddled person. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I mean. Like, now they've made, like, being a nerd and an outcast cool. Like, fucking, that's what being a hipster is. Like, it's cool, man, that nobody knows me. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. When we were in fucking high school, what what group would you classify us as being in? I was in the fucking like rejects or whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah, like I would say I was the we're odd, in, you know, we were, odd in, we, were, we were in like uh, I, I would classify as like the stoner group, even though like I'm no, I didn't smoke weed, but that's the only thing you could really, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, all right. That I mean, was their that thing. Was the, that was the closest thing to that we could all identify with the, the the majority of us, right? Yeah, exactly. Because like like, and I know the problem is I come to York. We have to cut that that name out, unfortunately, because now I'm going to be say so bad about York. No, oh, all right. Whatever. We'll we'll make a note of cutting this right here. Um, I come to. University. School. Right, right. <laughs> I come to university and actually college too, and uh, there's a shit ton of nerd kids. I guess you'd call them, you know, like hipsters and all that shit. And like they think that I'm like a jock or something because I'm making no, I'm a funny guy. I'm making fun of your ridiculousness because it's funny yeah. to me. 
Like, I like sports, but I'm not a jock. Look at me. I'm short, fat fuck. Uh, I, I, I make I'm, – I'm a – I wish there was just a group for funny. Just funny, and that was it. Man, I think – I think – I mean, this is – I don't know how this is going to sound, but I think the whole suicide from bullying thing is really – it's just um, – you know, survival of the fittest. You know no, what I mean? thinning the herd. Yeah, I it's agree. it's like really, if you can't handle that kind of it's, shit, yeah, if you, you shouldn't handle, be around in this world. Life is so much bigger than yeah. your fucking issues. You're not gonna be able to handle the real fucking world if you're gonna kill yourself over some kid pushing you to the ground in grade six. I, I just you know? can't even imagine four million kids like shitting themselves to death. Like it's it's. That's okay, fucked that, up. The way that's worded sounds funny, but when you think about it, it's, it's fucked up. It really it's is. It's probably the most it's more horrible death I can think of. See, but you're shitting yourself in this really hot place because it's almost always in a hot place, right? And you're shitting yourself, and you're getting dehydrated because you know you get diarrhea, you get dehydrated like a motherfucker. But now you can't drink the fucking water because it's poisonous. Maybe there's you know I don't know. Uh, sh- shit in it, or piss, or chemicals, just disease. or diseased water, because they've yeah. let algae just keep growing and growing and growing. So you gotta, like, you can't even quench your thirst that's coming from you shitting out your fucking ass. Exactly. Cause you, you're, usually... you're just gonna, it's a slow death. You just get tired, and you're probably coughing a lot, because it's probably dusty as fuck, for yeah. God's sakes. God, <clears> and it's like... It's like worse than drowning and being smothered to death. I actually, this is one thing I kind of would love to do with our show, and and, and people will listen to the show and, and say we're want to be Howard Stern's or you're a want to be Howard Stern. What does this have to do with Howard Stern? No, no, I'm just saying that that we don't give a fuck about nothing. But I, I, I'd like something positive to come out of this show. Like I think we should. I really believe when the whole bullying thing goes on that month. Yeah. That whole month. Yes. I actually legitimately want to find a way for us to raise money for yeah. like diarrhea and kids in Africa. And I shit. like it. You know, let's come up. I'm with so let's, sick let's brainstorm of this that. attention that they pay to bullying. Ugh. Like it's it's thinning the herd. These kids didn't need to fucking. They they weren't gonna make it anyway. That's I'm right. Sorry. We should we should I call it be... we should call it the uh, the fuck bullying month. You know. Yeah. I, I, maybe fuck bullying. Diarrhea is a real issue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. People because... can't even comment, and then they go, well, you're taking me out of context, because they're killing themselves. They didn't have a choice. What? Re- that's what people say. They didn't have a choice. They can't, uh... They absolutely <coughs> have a choice. Absolutely. They're, no, no, they're... it's because they're doing it to themselves. People forced them to do it. Oh, really? No. Really? So, so no, they did it themselves? They that's absolute bullshit. Everything in life, you you have a choice in everything. And in fact, you We're know. Not, no, well, I'm talking about the kids born into the shittiest environment to live in. You really think they had a fucking choice? Yes, uh, it, it's it's a part of philosophy. It's um, <laughs> the the way it works is it, yes, it's, philosophical it, it, libertarianism. But that's not the real world. No, 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 you know it's, that. No, it's the way it, it's it's kind of fucked up. But this is the way it works. All right, you made the choice to live your life, you, to be born. To where you were born by not killing yourself as soon as you could. Yeah, you you're know talking saying? about philosophical libertarianism, but I'm saying that's I'm talking about you. You're like that's like saying, oh, when someone puts a gun to your head, you can shoot this guy if they tell you to do it, or not. You're no. making a choice. No, it is. That's exactly what it is because they're making a choice to kill the person. If they say, kill this guy, or we'll kill you. That's exactly the same thing. All right, so then you have the choice to either say no, I'm not gonna fucking kill this yeah, guy. You have you can the kill choice, me. but you okay. You I, have maybe the I'll choice. Rephrase. Why don't I rephrase this? Because you're gonna be this. How about I say this? You have the choice, but your other option is pretty fucking shitty. Right, but it it is what it is, man. So you can't you can't ever say that you didn't have the choice. It like that is just bullshit. There's always a fucking choice. Okay, obviously, I didn't think we'd argue about fucking semantics. Obviously, I know that, man. Obviously, I fucking know that. But you no, know what I'm saying. You were you were just saying that these people say they didn't have a choice because they're doing it to themselves. Fuck that. They no, had a choice. I, yeah, but I'm saying I'm saying what I'm saying is those kids in Africa and in probably shitty parts of India, <clears throat> they didn't really have a choice. They were born into this shit. Of course they have a choice, but their option of killing themselves sucks ass compared to, you know. Like, uh, the way I see it is death either way. You know what I mean? 
you can you got three <laughs> options in that situation. You can try and leave and get as far away as possible and probably die, or you can shoot yourself to death, or you can kill yourself. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. It's but morbid, I'm saying but it's morbid have... all around. Oh, it's morbid all around. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah, no shit, it is. Cause Africa fucking sucks. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm not saying it's. I'm just saying. They have no fucking war. Okay. What, what would yeah. you rather? If you if you realized, okay, if you realized you were 15, at 15 you realized that at 18 you probably were gonna have to shit yourself to death because it's just gonna happen. No, because they're not would even gonna make it to 18. No, I wouldn't. You still would wait for that shitty death. Literally. Yeah, I would, obviously, because I have a known different. That's that's not even the point of all this shit. You're taking this completely out of context. What I'm saying is, yeah, they have a choice, but it's fucking just... It's morbid. It's, it's shitty. I know. Yeah, I understand can, that. Oh, fuck. Could you, yes, it's morbid and it's shitty. Look. I don't know what you're trying to say here. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is that I don't like that people say... Oh, it's worse. The kids killing themselves is worse because they're doing it to themselves and they didn't have a choice to, like, not be bullied. What I'm saying, the kids in Africa didn't have a choice either. That's right. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Man, we always get into this. We're always no, because you're a fucking we're retard. All, no, 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 no. We're always... We're, we're all, we're, you and I... Shit. No, no, no. You and I are always saying the same thing. Yeah, but, but you we're like saying to be it differently. Difficult. No, we're always saying the same thing, but we're saying it differently. But it, you're fucking absolutely right because these fucking parents they don't realize <laughs> that they, like they absolutely uh, it, the dying of a shitty death in Africa is ten times worse than any kid killing himself here it's because so true that families that have to deal with it. It, but, but I, fuck that! I, there's a family in Africa that has to deal with a kid shitting himself to well, death. You know, you know what it right? is. You know what it is. Actually, this is their options. It, a lot of the places in Africa, this is their options. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, you can shit yourself to death, or you can become a child soldier, and uh, we'll give you a little bit of water and a gun, or go mine diamonds go or something kids. as a slave. Yeah. <clears throat> exactly. But, but we'll never. We don't care about that because it's not happening here, and we're gonna focus on. I'll, I'll, I'll be very generous. 10,000 kids a year that kill themselves. That's being incredibly generous. All around, it's a morbid fucking choice for them. There's no, there's no like, really positive choice for them over in Africa. They can't be like, all right, you know what? It might be shitty, but I can get a job or whatever. You know what I mean? Here in, like, wherever, the U.S., North America, if you're being bullied, there's so many fucking positive choices that you could take rather than fucking killing yourself <laughs> and we, I think we should to, get, to, like to make to yourself say, feel better. Besides you know? the fact that you have society's unyielding support. And Prozac. Or all, <laughs> all that other shit. I'm, Prozac's old. I'm saying drugs, you know. No, no but you get what I'm saying. So right. If you're even... It's like, if you're even made fun of a, a tiny bit... You like, say it to off, anyone. Tell first anyone. Off, first off, I want to say, why can't you even make fun of kids anymore? Exactly. It, it, what, it's funny. And you know what? It's not our fault. You can't take a fucking joke. And the whole thing, I, uh, as well, being like uh, making fun of someone, make someone look at themselves and realize, oh shit, you know, I really am dressed like a faggot today. <laughs> I, like, I don't understand. If it's not, because there's a lot of physical harm, there's a lot of that shit. So? No, 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 the just let me finish. Kids up. Could you not interrupt me? Goddamn. What I'm saying, if it's not physical, we shouldn't even pay attention to it at all. That shouldn't right. even be... Uh, right, I, I completely agree with that. I mean, it's words. Like, really, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, if the kid has any problem, he can tell anyone, and that kid that said whatever is going to get in trouble, but, I mean, he, he shouldn't even, you know what I mean? No, it shouldn't even be That's anything. right. It I mean, it shouldn't even be. Uh, we should. I would. I don't even think we should entertain the thought of that shit. Right, but what? Because when it comes down to it, I mean, any kind of bully in any form, you could just, you can go do. You can take up a hobby. You can bring a little extra lunch money or whatever, and give that little extra to the bully because he's taking it from you, and still buy your fucking lunch. You, there's so many ways around it, rather than fucking <laughs> killing yourself. That killing yourself really is just stupid. It's it's the dumbest thing out there. You know? like, like, all these anti-bullying seminars and all that shit, I think we should fucking do this. They should fucking...
be like four million kids. I think it's one point two million. I don't know the exact number. I used whatever. To. There's a lot of fucking people. Just children, not people, die every year from diarrhea. Get over yourself. Yeah, exactly. Do you not think that any of those kids dying from diarrhea would not like kill a <clears throat> bunch of people just to have your life? They would. Yeah. They would kill themselves to come over here and have fresh drinking right. water. If they were told that if they shot themselves in the head and reappeared here in Canada <laughs> with the the life that we've lived, they would do it in a second. In a second. Absolutely. Like, I mean, it, they it's would just, probably. It's, they would. It, it's just. It's. It's so ridiculous. That's right. If, if they were told to nuke Japan. If to get our one of our lives, they would do it. They would yeah. do whatever it took to get our lives, and there are people here taking <laughs> their their lives. It's and, stupid. And you know, all the people over there would completely agree with them too. That's the difference. They would have their all their people's support come over here, and over here you have everyone's support if you're bullied. Yeah, exactly. It, it's just I guess a difference in priorities. It, anyway, it doesn't make sense, man. It's just stupid, really stupid. Um. Yeah. You said, you said it one more time and put more emphasis on the stupid shit. It's stupid. It's, it's fucking just stupid. So stupid. Oh, that's what you don't understand. <laughs> it's just stupid. It's stupid. We're it's not stupid. killing themselves because oh, they had a stupid. choice. Yeah. It's just stupid. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get to let's get to something funny. Um, Bill Cosby's made a comeback to do comedy. Is he really making a comeback? He is making a comeback to do stand up at seventy six. How fucking old? Seventy six? Oh my god! Here's all. Uh, he's in the, probably the top. He's got to be in the top five of the greatest comics ever. Really? I don't think I've ever watched one of his stand ups. No, I just mean uh, he is funny, Nick. He is funny. Yeah. Like, I know he's clean and it pains me, but like the Cosby Show. Come on now. If you didn't, you, there's nobody. Who didn't like the Cosby Show as a kid? There's no one. Yeah, a couple episodes I liked. <clears throat> See, I didn't really watch it though. Okay, well I used to watch all. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know the what I, I, I understand he's a, it. He, he's a made man in the comedy game. That's he right. Is, he's high up. I I, I I like a lot of his comedy shit. Even like, I even I even I'll, I'll, hell, I'll even give you this. I even like that kid said the darnest thing shit because some of that shit was actually funny. It's just goofy funny. Yeah, that's he. He's had a way of finding the goofy, funny in life without finding all the dirty, morbid shit. Somehow funny. he he did it and was entertaining. That's right. Not I, like a lot of clean comics who just can't. You're not giving me anything with it. Uh, exactly. I mean, I'm just not like like with a lot of clean comics. I hear the joke and then it just it doesn't stick with me. It's also very predictable. <clears throat> yeah. It's, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, we, if you don't think he's in the top five... No, I'd agree with that. I would agree with that. Because, you know, a lot of people have usually have, you know, prior Carlin, one and two, and then it's usually Cobb's EV's number three or, like, number four. But you know what I mean? He's, he's one of the best ever. Let's just agree. He's up there. He's, 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 he's up there. Who? Oh, I say Cosby's up there. Oh, oh! You say Cosby? I could have sworn you said Cobbs. I was like, "What the fuck am I hearing no, right I said, now?" I said, I said, yeah. Prior anyway. Carlin. Prior yeah. is the undisputed prior, king. Prior Carlin. I mean, those two. They just. I, I think it, it has me, to they, be those two in order. It has to be. No, I, I think they are. They fight for it, and it because it's a race thing. I mean, for it's whites, not, it's Carlin. You, for blacks, you, it's Prior. I mean, I can, no, no, I, it's not. It's not. I can tell you why it's not. Because Prior, so many more people. Took from Pryor than they did from Carlin, and not just that, Carlin started doing more, I guess, of a poetry thing toward you know what I mean. Where it stopped, like a lot of his shit stopped not being. There was humorous, but it wasn't necessarily funny. It was just it, it was clever. Whereas you know, Pryor always had a punch. There's always a joke. You know what I mean? That's the difference. Carlin is more of a great philosopher. You're not saying he wasn't funny. Yeah, He's you know, I can see that, actually. That's I, why I'm I saying agree we're talking that. about comedy. All right, so... Made right. you laugh. The guy that you say, hey, I want to hear some funny-ass shit. All right, so it's Pryor. Pryor Carlin. is undisputed number one, and Carlin, I say, is number two only right. because of that. I'll agree with that. And then, you know, that that's what I'm saying. Okay, so, and then, you know, Cosby's up there, man. Dude, it's funny. Like, Carlos Mencia took his greatest bit, man. One of his best, man. 
Well, well you know, but the whole you know, uh, you know, you know it's good saying? when just Carlos saying... Mencia is stealing from you. No, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you know, he's coming back, and apparently, people have told me otherwise. And I said this at the beginning of the week, but I'll say it again. People have told me otherwise that, you know, uh, Bill Cosby's worth something like three hundred million dollars, so he's not poor. Is he really worth that much money? That's what I've been told. Holy so, shit. So, um, well, I mean, he's probably picking up tons of residual checks from every time Cosby's plays at, like, fucking 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah. But, um, uh, sorry, I still got a sore throat here. Obviously, if it's bleeding this morning, for fuck's sakes. Um, what I'm saying is, okay, so maybe I was wrong about what I said. It's probably I was wrong, because I don't know shit, but... Let's just say hypothetically Cosby was broke as fuck. Look okay. at all the people he helped. He donated twenty million dollars to some fucking Spelman College in Atlanta. Dude donated shit tons of money to every like <clears throat> United Negro College fund and shit. Just the, the guy the guy's a good dude. This is what I think about charities, and maybe I'm crazy for thinking of this, but there's so many charities that just take and take and take and take, because that's their job, right? They're charities. Yeah. I just think it would be nice for a charity, especially a big one, if it was a, like a major charity, especially when they pay something like 70%, like breast cancer, who pay something like, I've seen the statistics before, a lot of these charities pay it like 70% of the money you donate them goes to like paying for their advertisement campaigns and their fucking... Like executives' monies. So all this that proud their charities, they don't make money. No, they it, make a yeah, ton of money. Yeah, they, they make profit. I mean, it's still a for-profit charity because you know, there's not-for-profit charities. Exactly. Who don't have executives that are being paid. Yeah, but I'm exactly. just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. it would be nice for a charity for once, maybe, to give back to someone who hooked them up. If, like, Bill, maybe, if Bill Cosby was broke as shit. They yeah. should give them some money to, you know, get started up again. Exactly. Maybe all those doctors and lawyers and people and, 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 and you know, people like from the United Negro College, Fund, maybe all those kids that graduated with the money that he fucking gave, maybe they could just donate some. And maybe that school yeah. in Atlanta could, like, name a fucking building after him or some shit. And, like, oh, I bet he's got a lot of – I bet he's got buildings named yeah, after him. Yeah, but maybe come in and become a professor or some shit. Bill Cosby is a smart dude. I mean, I know he's a yeah, give him a job. and shit now. Like – the dude could easily teach a class about, like, sociology or people or something. Something, yeah. This the guy knows people. Anyway. Dude, he could teach a class on white people. Even though he's, we got he, this, figured out, he figured out how to make them laugh even when they hate his guts, you know? We got we got, we got Bill Cosby. Uh, it's a little two-minute clip of his back in 1963, a little live stand-up from him. <laughs> you you want to hear this? Yeah, I'll hear it. All right, fuck it. Is it under the YouTube thing? See, that's what I'm saying, man. You just see how he influenced other people with the yeah. sound effects and the face shit. Right. Fucking, it's that, very that, visual. It's, just, it's it's if you even if like, even if you don't like his comedy because maybe it doesn't hold up. I can understand for a lot of people it probably doesn't. You have to respect the fact that this is where it, it's like this is where fucking it started. Yeah. It's the roots. That's right. He's one of the pioneers. That's right? what I'm saying. So even if you don't like his comedy, you gotta respect the guy. Because a lot <laughs> of people did. Doing. You gotta respect the fact that a lot of people did. I don't care if you didn't like it or not. Uh, you gotta respect that so many people really did. They really liked him. They, they, that was a live audience watching him, and they were really fucking laughing. I mean, it's not this bullshit of today with no. the fucking laugh tracks and the fucking bullshit. Yeah, that, of, that, that was clever, know, though. That was clever. It was smart. exactly. Exactly. It was just it, well thought out, well, um, I don't know, well rehearsed. It's just, exactly. just well done. He did a, a good job at what he does best, right? Yeah, so, um, you know. So you think he's going to be that good now, no, though, with his comeback? I, I've, been, I've heard lately that he, I've seen kind of some shit on TV. He looks like he's old and senile, and he's just, you know, old people are. Their brains start turning much. Yeah, yeah. And I just don't think... The reason why he says come back is because funny is funny. Well, no shit, Sherlock. But I just don't think – I just don't – I don't want him to come back and then not be funny or – you know what I mean? Like not do – not do 
if you got if, if he's coming back, he's got to have some new shit. Like I was saying, maybe he should just come back and have a whole new hour where he just tells cunt jokes and swears. <laughs> just, just fuck all that bullshit under the end right now. Yeah. Fuck everyone. Like Carlin did. He's yeah. Just like, fuck it at the end. I just, hate everyone. Just come back and be like the dirtiest, meanest old man. Because that's what they, like, that's what you're allowed to be now. If, if, if Bill Cosby did that, that would be the biggest news ever. Bill Cosby says fuck it to everyone. And well, that was well, you know, us here to fuck it to all of y'all. Would it be I good about it, too? Food. What'd be good about that is actually that he followed the. And you gotta the, go like the... kiss my pudding pop ass. <laughs> I shit it out, motherfuckers. Something like that. You... Would be good though. Eat, what would be eat good? The shit, eat the pudding pop out of my colostomy bag. <laughs> see, see, <laughs> what worked though is that he followed the socially acceptable comedy the entire way. Because now as an old man, apparently old men are allowed to say that kind of shit and that's socially acceptable, right? Yeah, old men that's how, how it's always want. been. Because, you know, that it's okay. Because they're old and, you know, I, I hate that kind of shit where they're like, oh, no, no, he's old. He's allowed to say that kind of shit. Oh, yeah. But, you know, a young person, you, what's, what's the fucking difference? It's coming out of a different mouth? Like, fuck yourself with that shit. You know what it is? You know what it is? People don't want to, like, tell their parents that they're fucking wrong. Yeah, exactly. You know when you get older? Like, like when you get older? Like, right now, you don't give a fuck. But when you get older, you don't like doing it. So you don't want to tell your parents that, uh, you know, people don't think that way no more. That's true, I guess. Yeah. But, so, uh, you know, yeah. some people still like doing it. Some people still like... That's why they hang around their, like, old people and, like, old folks home, because they just love telling old people that they're wrong. Even the old the old pe person doesn't really fucking understand. Yeah, I, I mean, fucking... I, I, yeah, I hope Bill Cosby's not doing shit for, you know, the geriatric ward of the hospital. I'm hoping he's fucking... You know, I mean, maybe he's got some relevant shit. Dude's been around forever. Maybe he's got some new shit. I, I don't yeah. know. I mean, if he expects he can make a comeback, he must have something, right? He's yeah, got to have something know. pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if you if you went dirty, I would definitely fucking I would uh, respect him. I would definitely like to watch it because you could see mm -hmm. him being you could see him being very good at at being a like a you know a just a mean old man comic. It'd be good. It'd be just so funny to see it happen. Like, gotta be honest with you too. <clears throat> Bill Cosby makes me laugh a thousand times over Jerry Seinfeld. A thousand. I just, it doesn't. I understand Jerry Seinfeld is funny, but I don't yeah. like it. No, that's all right, right? I mean, there's, I, I don't really, I don't even like it that much either. It's because I, I just don't like clean comedy. You know? No, no, exactly. But you, exactly. But you gotta respect. The time is different. Right. If Cosby came back, let's say Cosby came out now, I don't think he'd be doing clean comedy. I don't. I think it'd be the exact same shit, right. but it would probably be, a lot of it would be, you know, f shit and dick jokes, something like this dick sucks. Yeah. It'd be some, some swears and all that yeah, shit. Yeah. You know? know, I mean, like, he probably wouldn't be able to do a, a Kids Say the Darndest Things show. No, these fuck days, no, that ain't gonna happen. That's not gonna happen either, right? So, it. I mean... Whatever, all right. <laughs> it's like uh, we'll we're, we'll see. When does this new shit come out? Do you know? <coughs> I think it was like September or something. I don't know. Oh, it already came out. <coughs> no, 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 he's doing shows in like oh. August or something. Oh, know. coming out. Okay, all right. No, it's a uh, stand-up comedy tour. Oh yeah. So, but he's not doing a special or anything. <laughs> I, I don't fucking know. We'll, we'll see. Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Didn't do your research. No, I just read it <laughs> briefly. This was like the start of the week, anyway. Um. <laughs> Uh, what, what did I want to talk about? How much shit I want to talk about? Um, uh, I want to talk about Mad Max for fuck's sakes. What about Mad Max? Uh, the new movie is, as you probably know, being made in uh, Namibia, in Africa right now. Yeah, they're actually doing it in the fucking desert. No fucking way. Are you serious? Uh, I'm happy. Tom Hardy is the new Mad Max. Really? Yeah, and guess what? I, the only reason why I'm loving this movie now is because Mel Gibson is going to be in this movie in a cameo. Holy shit, that's going to be a good fucking movie, man. Tom yeah. Hardy would be a perfect Mad Max. Well, I don't like it because it's probably going to be... I think it's PG-13. What? Yeah. Fuck yeah. that. Like, yo, the road... Come on. I think fucking... Okay, the first Mad Max, a lot of people like it, but I, I just think it should have been just called a prequel. Because the time right. difference between it and Mad Max 2 is crazy. 
Right. But like Mad Max Two and in... Mad Max Two probably got to be one of the best movies ever fucking made. It has to be. And, and yeah. fucking Mad Max Three Beyond Thunderdome, the fucking fight scene. And oh shit! Like I said, in that movie, still no one has explained me why Tina Turner had an American accent in that fucking movie in Australia. Oh man, you realize the director who's making Mad Max, the new one, made all the old Mad Maxes, right? No, I know, I know. I, I, I just would like to know, and no one can explain it, why Tina Turner had an American accent. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand that either. She probably is just like on the set, and they're like, yeah, you can come in, and then they decide to keep her, and she's like, fuck it, I'll just keep my accent like this. <laughs> I haven't even seen uh, Mad Max 2 yet, though. I saw Mad Max 1, and Mad Max 1 just became, like, it was just horrible for me. I didn't really like Mad Max 1, and it wasn't enough for me to go, yeah, all right, I'll go watch Mad Max 2 now. I just didn't, you know, it didn't have me wanting to do that. All right, fuck it, I'm taking a piss. I loved her in that movie. I thought she did a good job, a great job of like running the whole fight game in that fucking movie. But <clears throat> check this out: Mad Max, the video game, is coming out next year, too, for 360 as well as fucking the new Xbox. So yeah, so it's gonna come out for 360, coming out. Yeah, but man, the the thing with that, have you seen the the game, um, the gameplay for that? No. Ah, uh, it looks like shit, man. They put more into the the uh, the trailer than they did into anything else. Like the trailer looks amazing, and if the whole game was like that, oh, I'd, I'd play that game all day long. But it's another one of those games, you know. The, the gameplay just doesn't look that great. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the graphics aren't that good. The it doesn't look like there's that much of a storyline <laughs> to the game either, you know. And I hope it's not like. If it's anything like the first movie, then I'm just I'm not going to be interested whatsoever, you know. I guess. But I mean that that trailer is pretty fucking cool, you know, where the guy's the guy's not even worth the bullet because it's like uh, apocalyptic, right? So he just fucking runs him right over. I love that. Oh man. It's yeah, like man. It, it's something Mad Max really would do. Oh fuck yeah. And but... I mean Tom Hardy, you got to agree that Tom Hardy would be fucking great, right? Eh, whatever. I don't know. I like Tom Hardy a lot, man. He'd be a perfect Mad Max. Perfect. I guess. I just... It's Tom Hardy, so, like, it's not... I want it to... Especially... Here's the reason why I don't like Tom Hardy in this movie. Because they're calling it Mad Max 4. Saying it's after what happened in Mad Max 3. It's not a remake. That's what they're saying. So, I want Mel Gibson to be Mad Max. Yeah, I mean, you can't... Alright, that makes sense to me. You can't fucking say, this is what happens after the last three movies, and then have something different, have someone different, it just looks fucked. I don't yeah, like that. So, I don't like when they do that. It's, yeah, it's just... Okay, it's not Mad Max, but... But it is? I mean, it's stupid. It is, but it's not, because it's not <laughs> Mad Max. But it is, but it isn't, but it is, but it isn't. Stupid. Right, you know, Mad Max is still a G... <laughs> um, no, like, um, but that's just, I guess that's just a name, you know, that's a problem with the name and everything. Yeah, you know what, I don't give a fuck what nobody says, because this Mad Max is, like, just, ugh, such an amazing, it's an amazing, Mad Max is just an amazing movie, like, the second and third ones are just, like, amazing to exist, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm really, I'm way too far behind. Like, I I'm, I need to watch those movies. I need to watch so many other movies. Oh, my God. We, we, you're a... We're, yeah, we were talking last night, and I forget what movie. It was like, Who was talking? Me and the guys. We were over at uh, Rob's or whatever. Who the fuck and, is the guys? Uh, I'm not going to name names, but, you know, all the uh, all of us that hang out, right? So we're all hanging out. I have out no idea. It doesn't really matter who. We're just a bunch of us talking, right? Whatever, so, fine. So we're talking, and uh, I think it was Shaun of the Dead that got brought up, and I, I still haven't seen Shaun of the Dead, and I I mean, everybody hates me when I mention all these movies that I haven't seen, because... I haven't I, seen... I don't want to watch that movie, like, because you know what? Those people probably haven't even seen Mad Max. 
No, so, they they said they've seen. Well, sorry, yeah, they they probably haven't seen Mad Max. I agree with that. I don't so think any of them. Their opinion have, means nothing. That's what I say. Exactly. That's why I don't really care when I tell people that I haven't seen a certain movie because it's like I I've seen so many other movies that I mean I'm just getting around to it. You know, there's a huge list of movies that I still have to see, and to be able to watch all the movies that I want to see, I'll be fucking dead by the time I see all of them. So I'm not in a rush. Ooh, look at me, I'm not in a rush. Where's Philip? Yeah, I'm so cool. I'm not in a rush. I'm so cool. I'm not rushing. <laughs> not rushing anywhere like you. You people are rushing. <laughs> speaking of uh, ah. mo- speaking of movies, though, um, what do you know about this fucking Sharknado? It's the asylum. So they make all those sci-fi movies where the movie's name is what it is. Yeah. And this is the fucking... This could be their craziest fucking movie yet. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just... You're just... The fucking people. And I, I have not fucking seen it. Apparently the movie's been called Too Violent for TV. Good. Uh, it had more... T- had, like, the most tweets than, like, yeah, there's a whole yeah, thing. On Twitter, I don't follow that shit. So with with Twitter, there's like, what it, they set up a you know a hashtag. It's a hashtag Sharknado, right? Okay. So. They got it, hash in it. Like it, you know, the little number sign. So hash. Oh, I forgot. It's no longer the pound signal. Now it's a fucking hashtag. Whatever. That. Well, it was always called the hashtag, but it's like they. It, but people just call it, started calling it the pound signal forever because they didn't even know. I don't know. But it's, whatever, it's, I don't know any of this shit. Whatever, okay? Fucking Twitter set up this thing where it's like a hashtag Sharknado and everybody wanted to talk about it. But the funny thing was that like so many comedians that I have on Twitter just started ripping it apart and they put like hashtag Sharknado and then like make fun of it in like the funniest fucking way. <laughs> That's the only reason it got so many tweets was because so many people were making fun of it. There's so many fucking retarded tweets on that. It, I loved it. It was, it was one of the funniest things to watch on Twitter. So, uh, yeah, the Asylum, the people that make movies for the sci-fi channel. Apparently these guys have never lost money on a movie. All their movies are made for like a million dollars. And they pump out a movie every 28 fucking days or something crazy like that. What? Yeah, they literally pump out a new movie every single month. That's insane. And now they're starting to get, like, not name actors, but actors that you would know if you've heard them. Like, Tara Reid was in this fucking movie. So. Who the fuck wants to be in these stupid fucking shitty movies? I don't know, I think, I, I, whatever, Mario Van Peebles was in one of them, for fuck's sakes, you know? Like, That's fucked up. <laughs> Sharks. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm saying. I can't wait for them to remake Hard Boiled. Oh my god, <laughs> Eggs, man. Water. Heat. <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. Hard Boiled. John Woo <laughs> comes to the Sci Fi Channel. <laughs> oh, fuck. With Chow Young Fat. Uh, everybody liked Jaws and everybody liked Twister. Why don't we make Shark Data? Fuck. I, 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 god damn. I can't wait to start making. I hope we make movies for this fucking shit. Like, ah, that's funny. Hard Boiled, the remake. John John Woo should only be making these movies. So Sharknado is like the exact thing what it is, but John Woo's like shooting at the sharks, falling backwards. Yo, it's you like know what? Fat we'll we'll make a... Uh, and there's we'll make, doves flying behind him and shit. We'll make a... Um, some guy jumps on a motorcycle and like kicks the fucking shark in the face. We'll no, love. Uh, you know what we'll do? We'll make we'll make a a cooking movie with uh, Chow Yun Fat just just cooking hard boiled eggs. Uh, oh, it, that'll well, be the remake of Hard Boiled. Just oh yes, uh, we ain't making hard boiled eggs today. Uh, yes. And there's but there'd be doves in the background and it wouldn't go right. <laughs> yeah. Like there'd be explosions <laughs> everywhere that yeah. shoot shit tons of sparks. There'd be doves like getting caught in the oven. And, like, oh, get, getting their necks snapped. <laughs> oh, hell, hell yeah. They'd be shit to <laughs> Like, the most violent cooking movie ever. In fact, the only cooking movie I've ever heard of. You know, we've got some uh, we've got some good ideas running here. Oh, uh, shit, yeah. We, we should start production. <laughs> John Woo. <laughs> In the sci-fi, sci-fi movie. <laughs> of... <laughs> Hard-boiled. Hard-boiled. <laughs> 
<laughs> Eggs, water, heat. Enough said. Chow Yun Fat. Oh, if Morgan it. Freeman doing voiceovers. <laughs> if Morgan Freeman ever did a sci fi fucking movie, I'd say it's over for movies. In ge- it's just, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, uh, I think we've gone long enough. Uh, I think it's the yeah. end, uh, end of our show. It's get a little what, boring Oh, here. we don't have our bomb of the day. We didn't do that. Uh, pff, you think that's going to be a part of this anymore? I don't think so. Is, uh, is, is that guy even, like, talking? Yeah. Say. Yeah, I mean, it's all fake. It's like, um... Wow! Of course, he'll, he'll talk yeah. to you, but he won't talk to me. Of course. He'll pretend like nothing oh, ever course. happened. Of course, the whole because... mutual cum thing. Oh. No, 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 it's not that. It's be- it's just because we're simply forced into the same room so often <laughs> that he do- he doesn't like pretending, or he, he likes pretending like nothing happened. I why don't, don't you know. just... You should, why don't you just call him? Like, like, listen, I would go to him, and this is what I would do if I were you. I'd be like, listen... Do you realize if we didn't have mutual cum, that I would have never talked to you ever because you're not a likable person? You're fucking boring and I don't like you. What are you gonna you do? Because right? you already said you don't like him. That's a fact. And it's just like you, you're you're such a uh, uh, like just a a ridiculous guy. You know what like I mean? Me? He's ridiculous or I'm ridiculous. He's ridiculous. Just just yeah. how you he takes things. Like he's not a dude at all. Yeah, it is very ridiculous. I, I completely agree with that. But really what are you gonna do? I I gotta deal with it, so No, but you get what I'm saying. I would just yeah. I would I would just say to him, like, do you realize how ridiculous you are being about this to call call you like a wannabe Howard Stern and then there was you got you. You know, I moving upstairs, the opening, or whatever. The, I don't. The f- yeah, I don't exactly, know. exactly, man. It's just, it's ridiculous. All that shit is ridiculous. You hit that right on the head. But I, uh, I mean, eh, what am I gonna do? I gotta fucking handle it. So. No, I would just point out that it's so ridiculous. To him. I might. Like, like it's I'd- just. I've been um, in the custom of pointing out how ridiculous he is, but mainly it's like when he's drunk, he gets so fucking drunk and just like does the most ridiculous things. It's hilarious, and I'm like, yo, you realize how fucking ridiculous. No, I just mean, I right just now, mean for him to uh, forgive you and not m- me, for instance, or whatever. I don't even forgive. Is no, 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 it's it's not even forgive. It's no, it's no, no, just, no, but uh, just just to talk to you and not me. Just it brings up the whole. It's very a limiting mindset to really. The whole what it is is it's just an ease of access, you know. He he doesn't have to talk to you because all it is is he can ignore a phone. No, but, but he can't I would just start talking to him. I, if I were you, I would make a point like, look, it's, it's ridiculous for me to even talk to you. Yeah. There's just no there's no point in me acknowledging your presence. I don't know, man. It's that's just fucking, what I would it's fucking brutal. do. Well, I'm gonna figure that out. Anyway, let's let's get out of here. Um. Thanks, I want to thank everybody for listening. Not a um, dude. Check us out on uh, Twitter, twitter.com slash theredphil, T-H-E-E-R-E-D-P-H-I-L. Uh, on Facebook, facebook.com slash theredphilipshow, uh, youtube.com slash theredphilipshow, and uh, listen to me on Spreaker. I only do that just to kind of push this show in the mornings. I do a little half-hour show every morning, a little bit of music, a little bit of this, a little bit of that on Spreaker.com. Um, thanks for listening. Um, again, like, sorry for the stupid hiatus as if we give a shit. Um, yeah. Um, well, I guess we'll talk, we'll sorry. see say something next week. You know, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>